subscribe to James and Sheriff Dixon, you motherfuckers. What's going on guys? James here to bring another video and this one's going to be a little bit shorter than all my other Bad Movie Fridays because um, Sharknado doesn't really have any clips on the internet of itself or at least not on YouTube. I could find the use for this uh, um, video and I spent like 20 minutes to a half hour trying to find clips and this is like one of the only decent ones that I could find from this movie. So without further ado, welcome again to Bad Movie Friday and for this bad movie I will be watching I'll be talking about, I shouldn't say watching it, I'll be talking about Sharknado 5 called Global Swarming. So this movie came out in 2017, so we're getting closer to being done, and it has a 3 point, it has a 3.9 out of 10 stars on IMDb. Um, I'm going to give this, I'm going to stick with 3 out of 5. This one was okay. Um, a lot of stuff happened in this movie. Um, I'll get to that when I get to the story part of it. Um, so let's go down to the budget. And there is no budget. All right. So, uh, oh no, the budget was uh, three million dollars. I just kind of see it. The budget was three million dollars for the box office estimated, and uh, it does not have a world domestic or anything like that. All right. So, um, IMDb. Uh, fuck. Uh, Sharknado. I two times I messed up that. So Sharknado five takes place after the fourth one, and um, Tara Reed's still a fucking cyborg like you saw in the first clip here. And again, I don't really have any other clips other than that, so um, I'm just going to talk about the story, then I'll show you what I have in store for next week's bad movie. So, um, yeah, um, the story pretty much has the all the Sharknados, the Sharknados pretty much take over the world, pretty much. So there's one in every single country, and Finn Shepard pretty much travels all throughout all the countries, and it, he is in this again. Finn Shepard, Nova, and uh, Tara Reid all reprise the rules that they've been doing for the last couple of movies. And, uh, um, I think this one might be one of my favorites after the uh, third one with David Hasselhoff. But in this one, like I said, he does lose like his entire family. Like they said that David Hasselhoff character dies, which is his dad. His son dies. His um, Grant, his mother dies. His uh, pretty much everyone that he knows dies except for Tara Reid, which is his uh, wife and his son, who is now like I think between the ages of eight and twelve in this. Um, but yeah, I think the son. Might have been one of the more annoying parts of this movie because in the first one he was like five and he wanted to be a shark, which I still think was fucking ridiculous. And in this one he now wants to be like Finn after one movie and he wants to kill the sharks. So, um, yeah. So this one does take place mainly in Britain, just as like an FY, but again, it is a sci fi movie. It is made by Asylum. And after I get done with these Sharknados movies, I might look for more Asylum movies to review since. All of these have pretty much been the same after the third one. So, um, yeah, I guess that pretty much brings this review to an end. This is probably going to be one of my more uh, quicker reviews. Um, because the last one is, I did was five minutes. This one's going to be like three to four minutes. But, um, yeah, you, you know I'm probably going to just to give it up to at least four minutes. So, um, with that, I will show you guys what's in store for next week's Bad Movie Friday. And, uh, yeah, I'll be right back after that. So, see y'all in a second, guys. A horror movie called The Ice Cream Man. This movie, I just want to say ahead of time, is on, as of now, on YouTube. The full entire movie, you just type in The Ice Cream Man, and you can watch it. Just wanted y'all to know that if you wanted to watch it, like, when I watch it. So, uh, yeah. But, um, next week's bad movie will be called The Ice Cream Man. So, uh, with that, um, I'm gonna end the movie here, the, uh, video here, and this is James saying, if you like what you've been seeing, please like and subscribe for more. It's James saying, feast. I'll let Brandon Roger say we're here. See y'all in the next one. I hope y'all are doing okay in this quarantine, everybody. Right, um, I just want to shout out an amazing channel, uh, James the Sheriff Dixon. Oh, he's such a great guy, and he is super cool for coming to the show. I'm glad I got to meet him in person, and you should subscribe.